So you already know what time of year it is. Christmas time. Christmas music, Christmas sweaters, Christmas cookies. Get socks every year for Christmas because you're getting older. Spider-Man's coming out, so I'm definitely excited about that. So I thought, what better way to celebrate than to drink eggnog and flip Christmas samples? So let me show you guys what I flipped. I'm gonna be dropping gems along the way too, so pay attention. Fire. This is the emotions. What do the lonely do at Christmas? This is what I flipped it into. Let's go ahead and break this down. As you can see, I only got like five patterns right here, but let's start with the sample chops. So usually with old samples, they're not quantized. You can't really like uh, hit chop every X amount of bars and then it'll chop perfectly. With this one, I pretty much had to select everything, hear it, kind of count it, and then hit the marker tool. If you notice, it's pretty much wherever the kicks and snares are where they're hitting like this. One sample tip I could give you about chopping samples is look for the parts where it musically sounds good and simple and then make that one section and then find another part and then use that as another part. You really want things to be loopable. So that way it's like ear pleasing to the listeners. It's just those little things. And that's what I mean by just being super simple with it. One thing you can do if you don't know how to play the bass lines is do the old school technique that they used to do. Consolidate the whole beat and then just only use the low end. I use the uh, Arturia M12 filter. Uh, I actually really like this one for this type of stuff because it gives that like fatness to the sample. You could use a stop frequency splitter in FL and then just a little bit of EQ. Now the best part is these drums. So these drums actually come from the Counts kit. I actually love this kit. There's this drum break that he has in here. This one. It's super fire and it got the right textures. I wanted to switch it up. So I threw it in the FL slicer and then I just kind of chopped it differently and made my own pattern. I love that drum break. If you want to steal that drum break, definitely go cop this kit. That's the one I use the most. Now I know you might be thinking, what are these grade notes right here? Well, they're actually the kick. But this is a thing that I like to do and you can do it too. So I came up with the pattern using the kick here, right? You hear how light it sounds? Like that's cool, but I kind of wanted something to, you know what I'm saying, hit you in the chest. Kind of like if you don't get your $50 that your grandma gives you every Christmas, you know, you want to hit somebody in the chest like that hard. So how do I go from this to this? Well, here's something you can do. Throw it into a mixer, right? Put a frequency splitter on it and then mute the mids and the highs and only keep the lows. So this is what you're hearing. Now, depending on how much of the top end of the kick you'd want, you would adjust the slope here. That would be sharper. That would be a lot looser. I decided to keep it a lot looser because I wanted that like top frequency that that hat to kind of still be in there. And then I added a sausage fattener. So that's the first beat. Now, I'm going to show you guys a different beat. And this one, I'm going to show you guys a sound selection gem that can help you out a ton. You're not going to believe how I flipped this beat, actually. You're, you're going to say that I'm capping, but it's, it's the same sample. And I had to add it into the beginning just to show you guys. So I used this sample by Isaac Hayes. All is serene, just you and the mistletoe. Listening to the sound that comes with your
cannot tell me that shit is not hard, man. That shit is tall. <laughs> so let me show you guys how I flipped it. Ah, man, damn. This eggnog is actually pretty good. It's actually almond eggnog. I don't drink milk. Milk is nasty. Stop drinking milk. So let's start with the sample. I threw it into Serato sample and I was just kind of hitting random slice, set slice. Like I was just touching things. Just go into things, touching things. You don't have to know the direction of everything. And I was just pretty much clicking stuff until I heard it. Real subtle. I decided to go back in, chop a little bit, rearrange some stuff, make another chop before it so I can kind of have that, that, you know, evil kind of feel. And I got this. It reminded me of like Black Rob Woe. I had this bad chick of town, she was whoa. Had me messed up in the head, I mean. Whoa. That was like one of my favorite songs as a kid. I was like, damn, this reminds me of that moment. So how can I make it like modern? Rather than trying to like add all these different instruments and stuff, that doesn't matter. What matters is the bounce and how people move. Uh, Ninth Wonder once said this like thing in a video. He's like, you have to like understand how people in different regions kind of move. So I was just like, man, this sounds like some like Detroit type of shit. Little bitch ain't squeaky as she used to be. No, 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 no. Who said I'm a snitch? You just heard a lot from him. Better check the black and white that paperwork of all from Like I'm outside with the Cartier's on type of shit. I know myself. I'm self-aware enough to know if I go through enough folders, I'm gonna get tired. I'm gonna go through the old folders that I usually go to, my defaults. So to get me out of that, I use XO by XLN Audio. Basically, I mentioned this before in a previous video. It's like a galaxy for your sounds. You touch a star, you get a sound out of it. You can even find similar sounds to that. You link your sounds to here and then the galaxy gets even bigger. So it's pretty much endless possibilities. And if you want to go to like specific folders, you would just hit this compass, take out the default content and then certain uh, folders. And then if you just want to use like spice sounds or just your sounds, uh, all you would have to do is check this and then you can pretty much click anything. Pretty much when you found it, just hold control and just drag over and it's right there. In this case, I was just clicking. So I found this sound and then this, this little zap. Then this other one. And then I use the hi-hat from OZ's new kit, which is fire by the way, you should download that. A little open hat. Then a hi-hat roll, a basic rim shot and a kick. Then that 808. And that's pretty much the beat. <laughs> Honestly, you don't got You don't have to do too much. You don't have to be overly crazy about it. This one I'm definitely sending out for a placement because I know what it can be. And if I get like the right people to collaborate on it with, like it's 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 there. It's there. So that's flipping Christmas music. If you guys want either the EXO by XLN Audio or the Arturia Effects or even uh, Serato Sample, they're on Splice's rent to own program. Oh, and before you go, I just kind of want to give you one last thing. Uh, it's something I've been struggling with and I feel like I would hate for you guys to continue to struggle with it as well. So I could just give you this advice so that way you can start off next year and who knows, your life can change, you know? Uh, make what you want to make. There's so many people that are like trying to chase the wave or trying to like do what everybody else is doing and shit. And it's like, man, just make what you want to make. Other people are going to find it and they're going to gravitate to you. Now that doesn't bind you from it being like trash or it facing criticism or it being the, you know, uh, the Picasso. Let it be what it's going to be. But just continue to do your thing. Continue to make the stuff that gives you the joy. Because if you're trying to make stuff that like you don't like or you don't listen to, uh, but it makes money, it's like you're not going to feel fulfilled. I feel like that was something that I was battling this whole year with. But not anymore. So many great things are coming. I'm excited. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, that's like my life little gem for you. <laughs> Comment down below what else you guys want to see, and I'll do my best to make it happen. The Splice team will do their best to make it happen. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Don't say New Year, New Me. Uh, just do your thing. So that being said, I will catch you guys next time.